all right all right hey everybody welcome back to my channel i'm getting really excited because as i think about how i'm wrapping up this current introductory series of apple scripts i've decided to start taking on much larger projects where i use all of the things i've been teaching you in the past videos and we actually start implementing them in full-length projects if you've enjoyed watching my learning to apple script series and you haven't already hit that subscribe button now is literally the perfect time to click it because you won't want to miss what's coming next Today we're going to focus on a little known underutilized handler known as the onquit handler. I'll walk you through how to use it and why you want to use it and when to use it. So to start I'm just going to create a variable some condition and we'll set that to false and then we'll use an if statement around it. We'll say if some condition then end if and we'll display a dialog. I made it here to show us that we've hit the end of the script and inside our condition I'm going to add a quit statement. This will basically tell the Apple script to quit at this point. So if my condition is true, we'll enter the statement and we'll quit the script. Otherwise, it'll go all the way down to the bottom and it'll say display dialog. I made it here. So now that I've told my script to quit, I might want to have it do a couple statements before it actually finishes. So I can use the onquit handler and inside the onquit handler, I can tell it what I want it to do. So the onquit handler, handler will be called anytime you tell your script to quit whether that's through code like I've done here, or if you're running uh, an idle handler script that is kind of constantly running and your user selects the quit command from the menu. In either of those situations, we'll enter into this on quit handler if it exists and do whatever statements are in there. So here I'm just gonna write activate display dialog I quit, giving up after four seconds. And that'll help us to see that we've actually entered this quit handler, then I've added the keyword continue followed by the word quit, which will tell the script to actually quit. Okay, so I'm now going to save the script and uh, give it a run. And with our sum condition set to false, we won't enter the if statement, which means we won't tell it to quit. And we jump all the way down to our I made it to here dialog. But now if I change the false variable to true and we run it again, this time we'll see that uh, it's going to enter into that if statement. I'll call the quit command, which will then enter the on quit handler, and we'll see the other I quit message. As always, thanks so much for joining me, and I hope you've enjoyed this video. 